I'm in a rush, so I don't have time to be making a properly edited video, but we've just had the Black Ops 6 Vault Edition leaked, and this is absolutely crazy, because yes, that is right, Brutus, the Warden, from Mob of the Dead slash Blood of the Dead is back. I wonder if this has any story relevance, or if it's just for a skin, but more importantly, Klaus from Mauer de Toen is back. Of course, he was sent into the Dark Aether to seal Valentina away, but when he did so, he put in her device, which is why he's got this uh, purple inside him, but interestingly enough, he now has skin on, and the reason why I find this interesting is because this is exactly what Ted was like, which Klaus is very similar to on Transit. Now, on Transit, he didn't have skin, but when he was brought back on Alpha Omega, he now had skin, and it's very creepy, and the thing is, is that Klaus is actually based, we believe, on Richthofen's AI, so his character, his personality is based on the director, Richthofen, so I'm wondering if, uh, if Klaus, since he was sent into the Dark Aether, could be key to Project Janus in Richthofen in trying to rescue his son from there. This could just be a skin and it might not be relevant to the story, but I feel like it definitely is considering they've added physical skin onto him. Um, so I feel like there is going to be some kind of story relevance. And we're also going to be getting two other skins, which are Zero and I don't know who this other person is, but it's not really that relevant. I don't think it matters that much and I just care about the zombie stuff here. But it is rumored that on the Liberty Falls Ram Base map, which is an island in West Virginia that Richthofen has had closed off, that it is going to be based based on transit. The jet gun is even in the files of the game and it seems like the real life location it's based on is called Harper's Ferry. You can see all of the details about it here. But yeah, this is very interesting. I've made loads of videos about Liberty Falls which will be linked in the description for more context. So yeah, that's the Vault Edition but we've gone a bunch of other images. This is a more low res image that you can see here. There is confirmed to be a cross gen bundle so yes, it's coming to PS4 as well as Xbox One and there is going to be a Fallout crossover later in Modern Warfare 3 Season 4. It's confirmed now, and um, so I wonder if this could tie in with Soap uh, being some sort of weird clone to do with Fallout, but I don't think this has any canon relevance, but yeah, it's interesting, it probably ties in with the bunkers opening up on Urzikstan. We also have the Standard Edition icon, the Vault Edition icon, and there is also going to be a Sergeant Frank Wood skin, which is going to be a pre-order bonus, you just get it for pre-ordering, which you can see on screen, and I'm going to say he looks more handsome than we've ever seen him in the past, and he even has his old tattoos that we've seen, uh, that was I think in the Chaos story on Dead of the Night, I believe, but he doesn't have his 115 tattoo, of course, because it's not canon anymore, but there's going to be a numbers version as well. I don't know if that's suggesting that Woods is also brainwashed by the numbers or if this is just for a cool skin, and we also have another one, which is going to be a zombie. Now, interestingly enough, within these skins, he's not within his wheelchair, so I don't know if this is suggesting that Black Ops 2 is not going to be canon and they're going to be retconning it, or it might just be for a fun skin, and that's that, and it doesn't have any story relevant but the zombie one is fitting, uh, I guess, in one of the cannons where he dies. And yeah, he looks very cool there. So very cool skins. We've got a high-res image as well of the Black Ops 6 cover art. Interestingly enough, in the files as well has been found event info, which seems to be for a Warzone event. It says, the truth lies, gain the exclusive execution, evidence board, discover intel to uncovering the mold. So it seems like there's going to be some sort of Black Ops 6 event inside of Warzone. I don't know if this is going to be after the reveal on June 9th or if it's going to be before. But basically, we're going to find out who the mole is because there's a mole within the CIA, which could be Adler because he was brainwashed by Perseus in the post-launch story of Black Ops Cold War. And yeah, there's going to be some very dark stuff inside of that campaign for Black Ops 6 to do with the CIA mole. And they might be tying in some uh, conspiracy theories yet there. But yeah, that's all we've learned. Uh, I'm so excited to see Klaus back, though, um, for people who play Mao and Zato, and he was a fan favorite character, and he's so similar to Ted. But that's all I wanted to say in this video. Like I said, just a quick one, so no real proper editing, but I'll have maybe a follow-up video soon. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.